The Labrador Retriever was bred to be both a friendly companion and a useful working dog breed. Today's lab is as good-natured and hard-working as their ancestors, and they're also America's most popular breed. Modern labs work as retrievers for hunters, assistance dogs, show competitors, and search and rescue dogs, among other canine jobs. Welcome to AnimalTube.tv. In this episode of Dog Data, we'll be taking a detailed look at the dog breed information and characteristics of Labrador Retrievers. History Although the name might suggest Labrador Retrievers come from Labrador, Canada, the breed actually originated in Newfoundland in the 1500s. At the time, small water dogs were bred with Newfoundlands to create a breed called the St. John's Water Dog, named after the capital of Newfoundland. The St. John's Dog had a coat that would repel water and enable the breeds to stand the icy cold temperatures of winter seas. Newfoundland fishermen would use the St. John's Dog to help them in pulling ropes from boat to boat, retrieving fish that had floated free of nets or hooks, and for helping in pulling in nets from the water. You can't spend much time knowing about Labradors and their ancestors without coming across a copy of this very old photograph. The dog in the image is Nell, and Nell was about 12 when the photo was taken in 1867. Although Nell has white toes, you can still very much see the origins of the modern Labrador in her face and the set of her ears, and in her neat body and short coat. In addition to white markings on feet and often on the face too, St. John's dogs typically had a white chest patch that we still occasionally see in Labradors today. The dogs continued to live exclusively in Newfoundland until the early 1800s, when they were imported to Poole, England. The Earl of Malmesbury had seen the breed in action and immediately brought them home. Both the Earl and Duke of Malmesbury used them in shooting sports and began to call them their Labrador dogs. The name stuck, and the Earl's son began breeding the dogs. By 1903, Labradors were recognized by the English Kennel Club. The breed began to grow in popularity. In the early 1900s, hunters and farmers from the United States learned of the breed's work ethic and began incorporating labs into their daily lives. The American Kennel Club recognized Labrador retrievers in 1917, and the breed became a loving pet to many families. Appearance Labrador Retrievers are sturdy, solid dogs. They're almost square in appearance, with a strong body and sturdy legs. The maximum height for a male is 24 inches, which puts them in the medium-sized dog category, but their sturdy build can make them seem much larger. Weights range from 85 pounds for a large male to 55 pounds for a smaller female. Labrador Retrievers are easily recognized by their broad head, dropped ears, and large, expressive eyes. Two trademarks of the lab are the thick but fairly short double coat, which is very water repellent, and the well-known otter tail. The tail is thick and sturdy, and comes off the top line almost straight. The feet are described as webbed, with longer skin between the toes to aid in swimming. A thick undercoat and the water-resistant top coat keep a Labrador warm in the coldest water, and a quick shake on emerging from the sea or lake sees the majority of the water removed from its repellent surface. The Labrador's short, dense, wash-and-go coat comes in one of three gleaming solid colors, black, chocolate, and yellow. Temperament The Lab has the reputation of being one of the most sweet-natured breeds, and it's well-deserved. They're outgoing, eager to please, and friendly with both people and other animals. Despite his popularity both as a companion and as a service dog, the Labrador is, first and foremost, a retriever. His role as such is to remain close to his master at all times, until required to retrieve an animal or bird that has been shot. Anything he is asked to do, including retrieving gently, to hand, he is expected to do willingly, unquestioningly, and quickly. Labrador's high cooperative and intelligent temperament reflects that role perfectly, and it is what has made him such a perfect fit for so many roles in our society. It's not surprising that this lovable and versatile dog is simply the most popular family pet in many parts of the world. Training The Labrador Retriever is a highly intelligent dog, and it's said that they are the easiest breed of dogs to train and will learn commands quickly. They are excellent waterfowl retrieving dogs. They have a soft bite, which means that when they retrieve the game, they bite it and carry it so softly that they leave no marks. Training is definitely necessary because this breed has a lot of energy and exuberance. The working heritage of the lab means they are active. This breed needs activity, both physical and mental, to keep them happy. There is some variation in the activity levels of labs. Some are rowdy, others are more laid back. 
all thrive on activity. They are kind and gentle dogs, and it's no wonder that they are so often used as guide dogs for the blind, as well as rescue and therapy dogs. Grooming Grooming is fairly easy with a Labrador Retriever. Give a good brushing daily to keep the shedding under control, and you can even use your vacuum cleaner to go over their coat if they are used to the noise. They do need a bath usually about every two months or so, unless they found something to roll in, which slabs seem to like doing. They are usually very patient when being bathed, enjoying the extra attention, but watch when you let them out after drying them off. They will head for a dirt patch to roll in. Other maintenance requirements are a regular ear check, as dirt and bacteria can build up inside, causing inflammation and a bad smell. Never insert anything deep into the ear canal, just clean the outer ear. Daily brushing of their teeth using an appropriate pet toothpaste is best. Never use human toothpaste for your dog as it can produce a severe reaction. A busy Labrador Retriever's nails will keep short naturally, but if your pup is clicking their way across the floor, then the nails need trimming. It will help prevent any scratching if they jump up on visitors. If you make grooming a positive experience filled with praise and rewards, the rest will be easy. Health The life expectancy of the lab is 12 to 13 years. It's common for Labrador Retrievers to put on weight and become obese in part because they love food and do not self-regulate well. It's up to you to portion out food so your dog does not overeat. If you notice your dog has gained weight, discuss with your veterinarian how you should modify a feeding schedule, type of food, amount of food, and exercise. Obesity can shorten your dog's lifespan. Responsible breeders strive to maintain the highest breed standards as established by kennel clubs like the AKC. Dogs bred by these standards are less likely to inherit health conditions. However, some hereditary health problems can occur in the breed. The following are some of the conditions to be aware of. Hip dysplasia is a heritable condition in which the thigh bone doesn't fit snugly into the hip joint. Elbow dysplasia is a heritable condition common to large breed dogs. It's thought to be caused by different growth rates of the three bones that make up the dog's elbow, causing joint laxity. Osteochondrosis, or OCD, is an orthopedic condition caused by improper growth of cartilage in the joints, usually occurs in the elbows, but it has been seen in the shoulders as well. Progressive retinal atrophy, or PRA, is a family of eye diseases that involves the gradual deterioration of the retina. Early in the disease, dogs become night blind. As the disease progresses, they lose their daytime vision as well. Thank you for watching, and we hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out our other videos, and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button to get notified when a video is released.